right. So you make mu- you made music, right? Yes. Um, do you think it's easier or harder to make it in a male-dominated industry as a pretty girl? Um, it depends because it's it could be difficult for a female too. Mm. Because like, at least with, as for a male, I feel like at least with a male, if a if a nigga's interested in your music, you know he's genuinely interested in your music unless he's gay. Okay. But for a female, sometimes niggas act like they're interested in you or your music. Meanwhile, they just trying to fuck. Mm. So, you know, then you got the females that probably really is fucking to get their music heard and they're still not making it. So it's like, I don't know. Mm. I don't think it's even between a female and a male because we have to be more like aware facts so i mean so i think that ties actually ties into my next question do you think that there's like a such thing as pretty girl problems of course could you define what the, what that means um let's say all right this comes from all different angles because like let's take this back to school i had a lot of issues with females because i was like there's always that bitch okay so they want to fight like, if your nigga wants to send me a little kite letter, bitch, control your nigga. <laughs> and then ask him to send me that little... Because, you know, back in school or, like, on the sidekick, if a nigga's texting you, she's tight. You just mad because I look better than you. Mm. That's how I used to look at it. Or, like, um, again, like, sometimes you don't even know if a nigga really fucks with you because maybe he just fucks with you because you got a pretty face or you got a fat ass or... Mm. Whatever. So yes, there's a such thing as pretty girl problems, definitely. Mm. Go through some shit. Do you have an OnlyFans? I do. Could you uh, elaborate on that? All right. Um. I feel like just because you have an OnlyFans doesn't mean you gotta be showing your pussy, licking your titties and shit. <laughs> my OnlyFans doesn't contain none of that. Okay. I show my toes. Okay. Um, I show sexy pictures like it's just sexy. It looks good. And if somebody wants to pay twenty five dollars a month to see that, then that's what you're gonna see. There it's the go. same shit. I feel like if a nigga sees me on a beach in a thong bathing suit for free, why not pay to see that on my page? Hmm. You know. So, do you feel as if having an OnlyFans makes you a hoe? Not technically, not all the time, because there's people that make music that just play, like, the violin, and they're on OnlyFans just because they want people to pay to hear them play their violin. Mm. So OnlyFans is not just for hoeing. Like, it's also for other things. There's other people on there doing other shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So how do you feel about the topic of men having sex with a lot of women and being rewarded for it, but women having sex with a lot of men and being considered a a hoe. It's a complete outrage. Like, it doesn't make sense to me because niggas is nasty, and then they out here fucking raw, and then even sometimes they bring something home to their bitch, and then try to act like she's out here home, and the whole time it's the nigga. Or, but back to what you're asking me, yeah, that's just not right. If a female wants to go out and fuck whoever the fuck she wants to fuck and she's paying her bills and she's doing what she wants to do. That's her business. Why is y'all niggas judging? Or better yet, why is y'all niggas being bitches, running y'all mouths, telling everybody that y'all fucking on the female (laughs) because then y'all wouldn't know no. Oh, I fucked her too because y'all sitting there like bitches talking. Mm. Be a man and handle your business. That's what happened. Everything changed. Niggas is different. And the bitches too. But that's why everything's all fucked up now. Because females that have sex with multiple niggas, sometimes they be fucked up in the head. And they just automatically judge them as a hoe. It's not always like that. Alright. And uh, have you ever heard of Kevin Samuels? Never. Well, Kevin Samuels, he's this guy that talks about high-value men and high-value women. And... uh, being like a low value man and wanting like a like a really beautiful woman like mm-hmm. what you deserve like um 
Anyway, do you uh feel as if a broke girl deserves a rich guy? Um, I feel like the brokest nigga can have the best personality. And I don't feel like how much money anybody got should stop that. What I do feel like, though, is if you want to be with a broke-ass person because they're broke at that time, you should help better them. And if they don't want to better themselves, that's when you're like, you bitch, you were broke ass, whatever. Mm. But you should never just like, I don't know, I don't feel like you shouldn't be with somebody because they don't have money. Or the person got money so they can't be with a broke ass bitch. You know? That's just like that movie um, with that prostitute girl and she was fucking that rich nigga. What movie you talking about? Oh my God, I forgot the name of it. <laughs> I think it's called... Fuck it. Yeah, fuck it. Cut. <laughs> Cut. <laughs>